Are you tired of looking for a laundromat when you're RVing? Well, we may have found a solution in this episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back everyone. My name is Patrick and if you're new to our channel we'd sure appreciate it if you consider hitting that subscribe button and the little bell notification beside of it. We put out new videos every Monday and Thursday. All right, let's dive in to this week's topic. Now, when we're traveling in the summer, especially for extended stays, sometimes if we're in a campground, they either don't have a laundry facility or it's really small and hard to get into. But more often than not, we're staying places where there is no laundry facility. And if we need to do laundry, typically we go someplace looking for a laundromat. Now laundromats can get expensive and it takes up a lot of your time waiting around for your laundry to get done. And sometimes just finding a decent one can be a challenge. So we think we might have found a washing machine that will work for us when we travel in the summer. Now I know you're thinking, hey, how are you gonna get a washing machine in that 18 foot teardrop? Well, the washing machine I found will actually fit inside. Let's go inside and take a look. Now you're wondering, where is your washing machine? Well, guess what? It's right here in our wet bath. This is our new washing machine. Now you can see it easily fits in our wet bath and we could actually run it right in here so that we can use the drain hose right to the shower drain. But we're gonna go ahead and fire this thing up and try it out and find out, does it really wash clothes? But to do that, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it out here so we have more room to film and we're gonna take it in my garage. washing unit is made by a company called Costway and you can pick these up for under $150 over on Amazon and I'll leave the link down below in the description and you can also find it in our Amazon shop. The way this little uh, washer works is you have a wash side and you have a spin side. Now there's no dryer per se like a heat dryer but my understanding is it will dry them out to the point that they are really dry and won't make take much to, to finish them off just by hanging them outside. And if it's summer, that's not gonna be a problem at all. Now this just plugs into a regular 110 outlet and they say that on the wash side, it will use about 240 watts and on the spin side, about 120 watts. It's rated for eight pounds on the wash side and five pounds on the spin out side. So we're not probably gonna be doing things like blue jeans or sweatshirts in here. But in the summer months, I'm pretty sure we can do things like undergarments, socks, shorts, wicking shirts, things like that, that we just wanna get rinsed out and clean so we can use them without running someplace to do laundry. Um, pretty simple, it does have a inlet on each side. You can hook up, they give you a hose. So you can actually hook this up to put water in, but honestly, I'm thinking I can just pour the water directly in. So we are gonna try this out um, and show you all the features of it. Now, the other thing that I'll mention is there is a drain hose right here on the side of it, and it's literally that simple. So let's go ahead, let's grab some clothes, and we're just going to demonstrate this and not all right, we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Now there is a selector here for standard or soft. I'm assuming that soft would be more like your delicates, but we're just gonna go standard. Now I've just grabbed a few things that would be my normal summer attire. I've got a couple pairs of shorty socks, got a couple pairs of boxers, a couple wicking shirts, and a couple pair of my shorts that I wear in the summer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw that in. Now, like I had mentioned, they give you this hose that you can use, hook it up to a, a, a hose or maybe to the sink if you wanna fill. I think for us, it's just gonna be easier to go ahead and fill up with water out of a jug. 
And so I'm going to throw some water in there and just kind of look in here. I think maybe that'll be enough to start with. So I'm just going to kind of just see how much is in there. Okay, looks like we could use a little bit more. You could also just use the hose if you're hooked up to water. Um, if you're boondocking and you don't have the source of water, then you may just want to carry. Um, we actually carry a big five gallon. I think that's going to be good. And now I'm going to add a little uh, soap. I'm just going to go ahead and stick that down in there. Now it's not going to take very much in here. We'll probably just carry a bottle of um, environmentally friendly soap. And now all we have to do is set the timer for however long we want it to wash. Now, in this case, it goes from zero to 15, but these clothes aren't really that dirty. So I'm gonna go to about six minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up so you can see what's happening. And there is basically an agitator in the bottom and you can see it's already starting to make soap. And it's gonna start spinning back and forth. There it goes. So we'll just go ahead and close that and we will come back in six minutes and take a look at our wash. Now, if I don't think I have enough water, I'll add some more, but for right now, I think that's probably good enough. All right, our six minutes is up. So now what we need to do is we need to drain that soapy water out. So all we do is use this middle knob and we're gonna turn it over to drain. But before I do that, make sure your drain hose is connected or someplace where it can drain out. Now, whether this is um, the, the shower in our trailer or if you wanna drain it into a bucket or, or whatever, but just make sure so it doesn't go all over. So let's go ahead. Now this water really isn't dirty because these clothes, quite frankly, just aren't that dirty. But if you don't believe me that it'll get dirt out, I'm gonna link a video at the end of this video to my friend Scott Jance's video from This Nomadic Idea. He runs the same test, but he uses Ariane's hiking clothes and you can't believe how much dirt this actually got out of those clothes after she'd been on the trail for a few days. So again, stay to the end of this video and I'm gonna link that one for you. All right, it sounds like the water is drained out, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch that back. I'm gonna open it up and now it's time to do a spin out. So let's go ahead and they give you this little masher. We're gonna use that here in a second, but I'm just gonna go ahead and you can see these are gonna be nice and wet. So we're gonna throw these in. Now the thing to remember is this is eight pounds, this is only five pounds. So it is possible that we're not gonna be able to put all of this in. And it looks like no. So what we're gonna have to do is do this in batches. So what I'm gonna do is, since we got the shorts in there, I'm gonna put the unders in and this, yeah, we'll do that and we'll leave those socks. Now we're just gonna set this little masher in there, kind of push it down, put this lid down, go ahead and close that one so you can see. And again, we're gonna set the timer. So for this one, because at this point, all I want to do is get the soapy water out. So let's just set this for um, three minutes. Now you can hear that revving up. It's going to give it some pretty good spin. And that centrifugal force is going to help get the water out of here. And again, make sure your drain is in a place so that that water has some place to go. And you may be able to see in the video, it's actually taking out quite a bit of water. So we'll just let that run. All right, you hear it winding down. Uh, so we'll let that slow down. Never open that while it's still going around. In fact, if you try to open it while it's going around, it'll actually immediately shut it down. So we can go ahead and lift up. We'll take out this little musher. Now at this point, wow, these things are very dry. Okay in terms of you don't have any of that dripping. Now, what they recommend you can do is you can go ahead and I'm gonna just pull out these other clothes. Let me get this one out. We're gonna flip flop these. Let's throw those over there just for the time being. 
and let's get them spun out real quick. Put this lid down. Set those on there. All right, now our second spin out is done. We'll wait till it comes to a complete stop. Now we can open it up and we're gonna throw all of our laundry back in. Now you might be saying, why are you putting it back in the wash side? If you think that the soap is completely out, then I guess you could just call it done. But what I wanna do is put it back over in the wash cycle. There we go. And I wanna do now a rinse. I just wanna make sure that all that soap is out. And so we're just gonna run this back through the wash cycle, but this time we're gonna just use clean water. Okay? And it looks standard, and we'll just go ahead and set it for about five minutes, five or six minutes. What that's gonna do is it's just gonna agitate clean water in there and hopefully get out any soap or soap residue that's left. Once this gets done, then we'll go back one more time over to the spin out and we'll get all that water out and we'll be done. So we'll go ahead and give this a few minutes. Okay, let's go ahead and do a spin out. Load one in the spin out is done. Let's go ahead and see how it is. Wow, nothing dry. I mean, honestly, these are dry enough. I could probably throw it on right now and wear it and just air dry. And even these shorts with that thick belt elastic has hardly any moisture. So once your clothes are done again you could hang them outside i could hang them in the bathroom of our trailer and let them air dry and go ahead and i'm going to throw in this other set and we'll get them dried out we're going to put that back in and we're going to finish this laundry up and our second load is now done. I'm just waiting for the spin cycle to come to a complete stop. You can see just a little vibration maybe. Yeah, just like our washer at home. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. That's gonna stop it completely. And let's see how this second batch comes out. Socks, nothing. No water coming out. It's totally spun out, those cotton socks. And this wicking stuff is really dry. All right, so there you go. It's the Costway washer. I'm gonna put the link down below. This isn't gonna solve all of your laundry issues. There's no way we're doing our bedding in here. Like I said, we're probably not gonna do sweatshirts if we have those or jeans. But if we can buy two or three days just with our shorts and shirts and underwear, that will really help, especially when you're in a small trailer like we are. And I can tell you, Carrie Balbarona from the Rus Roads We Roam, along with Russ, already have dibs on using this when we take our big trip to Alaska in 2021. And I think this is gonna come in real handy. All right, I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna link that video right over here for you from this nomadic idea. Check out Scott's demonstration and see how clean it actually gets Ariane's clothes. If, you have, if you've ever used one of these, let me know what you think. And until next time, everybody, we'll see ya.
on down the road. Good night.